Let me tell you a story. On March this year, these two men arrived from Mexico to Colombia. They arrived to El Dorado Airport in Bogota. As they deplaned and were walking through to get their luggage, these two Colombian federal officers approached them and asked them to identify themselves. And then they said very kindly, venga con nosotros, come with us. And then they notified them that they were under arrest. I'm pretty sure they knew what was happening, both of those guys. But for the most part, that story went under the radar, only made, uh, you know, like some inside pages on the uh, local news in Colombia. No one really talked about that. And that single double arrest was having or is having major consequences because it's revealing a new and interesting trend. Apparently, the Sinaloa cartel, not talking specifically about Los Chapitos, but also the Zambada family and all other group of families that have been producing and manufacturing and exporting fentanyl, decided to move business down to Colombia and begin to cook fentanyl inside Colombia. Although fentanyl is not widely known in Colombia yet, traces have been found in, um, on, on the 2C, 2CB uh, substances. Nothing major, nothing big. There was a news story recently where a couple of kids uh, in Cartagena, uh, they bought like some sexual enhancer medicine or whatever. It was laced with fentanyl and they almost died. But um, in any case, fentanyl, as is happening in Mexico, probably all over Mexico, taking out the border cities of Tijuana and Ciudad Juarez and some other couple of border cities. But in, in Latin America, for the most part, fentanyl is not hitting hard like it is hitting in the U.S. But these two guys were sent, allegedly, according to Colombian officers, by no other than Los Chapitos to start and set up business there and start cooking. These two guys were flagged by the U.S. government who they were offering a million U.S. dollars for each of them. They were identified as Carlos Omar Felix Gutierrez, this dude you're watching on screen, and Silvano Francisco Mariano two Mexican national residents of Sinaloa, and um, allegedly they were original from other Mexican states, but they were living in Culiacán, Sinaloa, the um, headstrong of Los Chapitos and the cradle of the Sinaloa cartel. This is major news because those guys were very quietly operating until very recently this year, and doing, I don't think it was the first attempt, because again, sources inside the federal government in Colombia and in the US have told me that this, is, this was not an experiment. They were going back there for probably the fifth time to negotiate prices, oversee kitchens, and that kind of stuff. Now, these um, officers in Colombia uh, have told me that for the most part, the kitchens recently found in Colombia and be belonging to the Sinaloa cartel are settled inside these kind of luxurious apartments in Bogota. These apartments are in a residential area called Colina Campestre, one of the most expensive and elite places to live. You can see the apartment, one of the apartment, one of, one of these guys, probably they just got the photo from internet, but one of these agents uh, sent me this um, supporting image to kind of let me know how the um, new kitchens of fentanyl in Colombia are working and where. They also shared this video that also was probably part of a I don't know, like a, a press campaign by the uh, Colombian government. But as you see, if you look Colinas Campestre online, you will see the 
front of these uh, luxurious residential apartments, which uh, I'm pretty sure is this. Let's uh, watch this video. It, uh, it looks like it was an, uh, an operation by the um, Colombian authorities. Then you have some 2CB. They're testing for 2C, but they also found fentanyl. This fentanyl is or was taken, apparently, so it looks, from a pharmacy. So it was not fentanyl coming out of an illegal stream or being manufactured. So this is where the two authorities are dividing their opinions. The Colombian authorities are saying, or at least as my sources there, are saying that for the most part, these guys were just lazing uh, heroin, 2CB, and other um, illegal substances with pharmaceutical fentanyl. That's what they have these boxes of uh, fentanyl saying fentanilo, very clearly coming out of a laboratory, uh, of a legal laboratory, established laboratory, right? And, uh, but the uh, people on the DEA, sources inside the DEA said that they were actually manufacturing um, fentanyl in Colombia like they were doing in Sinaloa. Now, this is a very similar modus operandi in Colombia than what they do back in Sinaloa, in Culiacán. They rent or buy residential houses or the residential apartments in luxurious parts of town to establish small kitchens to either manufacture fentanyl out of chemicals and, um, yeah, well, basically precursors sent out by, uh, from China or to uh, uh, press these M30 fentanyl pills. Still not clear what is, uh, what is the deal in Colombia if they're actually manufacturing fentanyl from scratch or they're just lacing shit with fentanyl to be sold, um, I don't know, probably in Colombia or shipped to Sinaloa to eventually be shipped into the U.S., which seems to be what is happening. So now we first had three major players, China with the precursors or pure fentanyl, Mexico with the manufacturing, ship, shipping, lacing, and that part of business, and the U.S. as a final target for selling. But now we have a new player that I'm pretty sure that we're going to keep hearing more, which is Colombia. They're trying to move everything out to Colombia because I think the Colombians are not feeling as much pressure as the Mexicans or the Sinaloa cartel is having right now with the U.S. pressing hard on the Mexican government to act against, um, they say against every other cartel that is producing fentanyl, but in reality, they're only pushing uh, the Sinaloa cartel and one faction of the Sinaloa cartel, which is Los Chapitos. They are absolutely obsessed in going after Los Chapitos, which to me, if you ask me, I think that's absolutely hypocritical.